Yeah, most adults think that it is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm -mm. Adolescents know that they are mistaken. For any kid will tell you that there are only three childhood questions that will most impact the outcome of your adult life. And they are, one, if you won a million dollars, what would you buy? Two, if you were president, like, what would you do? And three, and the most important one, who is the best superhero you could be? Now, of course, the third answer usually depends on the power you need, right? Like, if you pick Superman, you probably want to fly, right? Wonder Woman, you're kind of sick of dude's lies, right? <laughs> Being bullied at school, you pick the Hulk. Surprise, surprise, right? But unlikely, the unlikely superhero of my affection would arise from not a comic, but a book called The Girl with the Silver Eyes. Anybody read this? Oh, it's from my childhood. See, the, the, the story of my childhood had an original antagonist that was Dirty Dishes. So I fell for the platinum pupils of this telekinetic named Katie the day I read the page where she was lying in her bedroom while cleaning the kitchen. And when her mom shouted from downstairs, Katie, do the dishes! She called back slyly, Mom, they're done! And she never left the bed. Oh, I was sold. I was so clearly the best superpower that anybody could have was this whole telekinesis deal. The power to move things with your mind. But just as I was preparing for a superhero life of doing dishes and cleaning the house while playing video games on the couch, I encountered my first supervillain growing up. With all knowledge of my superpowers erased by growing up in one swift blow. I maintained the possibility of winning the lottery or the presidency, but sealed my adamantium claws inside the knuckles of my fantasies. I tied my capes and spandex and boots in a bundle with my lasso of truth, stored them all away in a dusty phone booth, and let my superhero be introduced by my alias's handle. Hey, uh, I'm Seku. And I am a teacher, accountant, entrepreneur, parent, inventor, waitress, doctor, clerk. I'm just a poet <laughs> who had resigned my mind to the mission of making metaphors until one day someone responded, I am moved. Oh, oh wait, hold on. At that moment, realizing that I had moved something with my mind, I discovered my ability had been with me the whole time. And since then, I've committed myself to countless hours of unleashing the superhero dormant in my brain powers. I immediately sent my brain to boot camp and let my brain health detox to purge parasitic words like forgot and cannot. I picked a lot, holding the 86% of my dormant thoughts to super clean my memory and super size my box. I attended class inside Cerebro to amplify the mighty medulla, my fantastic four lobes, my neocortex processing concepts and incredible bulk. Got my cerebrum doing sit-ups and stretches to six-pack my creativity's core and limber up my limbics weight trained all five senses to lift the three pound smart bell in my head in 52 weeks sets on seven day reps followed by my concentration cardio and the imagination press to strengthen whole self quick learning then on my day of rest I made my hippocampus read the autobiography of Flash Gordon in 30 seconds flat to think quick act fast learn forward recall back and remember my past more accurately, to move my future more rapidly, and harness my natural capacities and reclaim my true mastery. So correction, my name is Seiku, and I am a certified superhero. <laughs> Don't let the brown eyes fool you. I am a telekinetic. I move the world with my mind. I am a telepath. I impact the thoughts of others with mine. I am a precog. My vision is way before its time. I'm less Superman and more Supermind. But think faster than a speeding bullet, process more powerfully than a bullet train, and quantum leap buildings in a single bound. But the source of my power is not the sun. No, 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 no. I don't draw my energy from a wand or, or need to plug a ring into a lamp to maintain my mental resilience. The fountain of my power has but one name. Brilliance. It is brilliance. I am brilliance. I give 
brilliance, reconnecting our intelligence to our luminescence, to shine light on Metropolis's right side, surfing the silver lining of clouds that rain optimism on parades to help Gotham see its bright side. I'm less X-Man and more cerebral cortex man. My Cyclops vision can stare distraction to death. And I see brilliance in my future. In fact, I need ruby quartz shades. It's so bright with no convenient radioactive spider bite, no gamma rays that ignite, no magical meteor in sight. This is all me, baby. I'm like Batman, but I'm no Dark Knight. The point of mental prowess is the power to be bright. So call me the Light Knight, not to be mistaken for the White Knight, because plenty of days also get saved in the shining armor of the Red Raven, the Brown Hornet, the Yellow Wasp. I'm part Black Panther and part Green Lantern that shines like gray matter, putting willpower at my command until whatever I conceive in my head and believe in my heart is achieved by my hand. So the real question then at hand is, what do I believe? What do you believe? Right? I mean, here's the truth. Superhumans are only humans too. You know? So whenever someone first discovers their ability, what do we do? What do we do? Let's just be honest here. Superhero you, let's just talk to each other. Right? Before we get Uncle Ben's speech, right, on great power and great responsibility. Come on, whatever. We, we never start out with the noblest of intentions. Teleporters, where are you? Teleporters will inevitably pop into a couple of bank vaults and get rich. Let's just keep it real. Teleporters, be honest with yourself. Super strengthers will kindly pay a visit to the school bully. Bully just happens to be in public, right? And any of us telekinetics who happen to see the Scott Bale movie Zapped while in middle school, will inevitably use our mind to make girl skirts lift up from the wind. <laughs> Whatever, it was appropriate for the time. So clearly, just having superpowers does not make one a superhero. For a real, a true superhero maintains a commitment to service and has a higher purpose. And I do, I do want more than just wealth, you know, and to teach people lessons. I want to make this world better and be someone's blessing. So now, I move heads to pay attention, move hearts to pay it forward, and move hands to pay respect to this planet that we share. I, I move heaven and earth for love. Make peace, get a move on. Make move people away from injustice and help them move in with empathy. I move romantics to full tears, move skeptics away from fears, and get haters to move along, please. Nothing to see here. I use technology on the move to make my move on innovation, to make stagnation move over and make space for imagination. I push activists to move mountains, get politicians to don't just stand there, but to move and try to help those in need to move up in the world. But even with giving all the service and having all all the smarts, I am encased, if I'm encased in anti-social iron, then I'm still a bit too Tony Stark. You know, so no matter how hard I try, the world is moving so rapidly, I alone can't move as fast as the social and environmental casualties that are increasing exponentially, so the power that I have mentally are no match for this century's classic super enemies. And, and we know them, right? You guys know them? We all know them. They're, they're, there is the, uh, the simple bad guys. All right, we know that. I could take them, right? Distraction, pow. Fatigue, bam. Poor health and anxieties, bam, bam. Like iPhones that shoot texts, TVs that deny us rest, and email-shaped alarm clocks that beep, perpetually beep, demand to be beep, checked. And then there are the evil villains. Mwah, oh, oh, oh. All right? Frustration. Procrastination, antiquated education that keep our space age generation complacently behaving like an assembly line civilization with no curriculum for innovation. And then, of course, there are the nemeses like stress and, and, and the arch enemies like, like overwhelm bombarding us with 2,000 years of data every two days, withering our wisdom with its information age. And just when I thought that I had defeated them all, there is the wretched doppelganger, the maniacal evil twin, right? Superman had his bizarro, Spider-Man had venom, technology has tricknology, like sentinels from the matrix trained in mixoplexology, using saccharine smarts to become artificially aware of how to simultaneously lift us up and dumb us down. 
until I can't find my keys, dial my phone, or remember how to carry the one without a calculator, leaving my mind and muscles atrophied on kryptonite escalators as I desperately try to get Siri to say your name backwards. <laughs> But Iris does not fall for it. And just as it seems all has come to an end and the villains are about to win, I look up and find the outstretched hand of a friend. The outstretched minds of you ladies and men. And I find myself moved to do battle again. I am moved, but this time stronger because one becomes 10 times 10 times 10. Each of us conjuring a unique ability from within to end the trance and we finally transcend. And I suddenly realized what the fact that I was moved by the power of your mind unequivocally, unequivocally proves as I unbutton my shirt and pull open my suit and find the letter on my chest is not an S but a you, who knew? I have the same power of brilliance that you do that exists beyond the realm of SAT and IQ. It's not how smart are you, it's how are you smart, right? How do you flow from, from, from your head to your heart? How do you get your heart rate in the zone and then hand off its power for others to hone? And I feel like I'm finally at home because though you each may be known for different superhero names, right? I see, uh, see Mighty Mine. Over here, right? Hey, got Brain Boy over there. Oh, look, 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 look. Girl Genius is in the back. Very cool. I see uh, IntelliFriend over there just came in, and, and you go by uh, Mental Man, sir, right? right? We got Madam Mental. Excellent, excellent. You, sir, sometimes are just known as Mental. That's cool. That's cool. You wear it with a badge of honor, right? Because we each share, hands down, the best superpower anyone can have. Brilliance in both forms, beacons of light with mental might. We got the super smarts, the purpose of service, and the social network to affect world change and raise the collective intelligence of the planet with just our brains. Like, like Clark Kent, right, writes Facebook and becomes Bruce Wayne. What? Brilliant. Did you want to fly? You want to fly? We have Da Vinci, Earnhardt, and Hughes use their mind to move us through the skies. Now we got galactic, pla galactic planes at the final frontier by Professor X Prize. We may not shoot red rays from our eyes, but we got minds that can stimulate emissions of a quanta of energy to shoot blue rays from our DVD players, huh? And other laser beams from our missiles, surgical tools, and holograms. We got the next Aquaman down in Florida somewhere cracking the code to communicate communicate with dolphins. Brilliant! We got our own Wonder Woman in a lab somewhere whipping up a truth serum that's non-toxic and designing a cloaking device for jets. Brilliant! You want a bionic woman? We got a six billion dollar man in a blue denim cape designing one as we speak. You want Iron Man suits? We got teams of high schoolers that, that compete to be the first to make it happen. You want teleportation? We, we don't have that yet. But, but, we got a utility belt with unlimited gadgets and a smartphone with unlimited apps. So I'm sure that some telekinetic has got their mind already set on that. So give us a minute because when brilliance put our minds to it, it will be moved. The world will not change by you or I as much as it will change by us, by our meeting of the minds, our super brain trust. Look at us, looking like less Omega men and more Acumen, huh? Less League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and, and less Justice League of America and more League of Extraordinary Ingenious Ladies and Intelligent Gentlemen who, who show what happens when we watch men join our super friends and put our minds together like Wonder Twins that activate form of Teen Titans who transform the enlightened like Autobots and roll out Voltron-inspired joint ventures to collaborate as one Justice League of Avengers who multiply dynamic duos exponentially turning the Fantastic Four into the synergistic seven million mentally empowered people who essentially pick each other's brain to blow the world's mind with your hand in mind we can empower humankind heroes it is time for you to reclaim your brilliance and let it shine, to realign power with purpose in this millennium of the mind. It is your tool for construction, your instrument of depth, your vehicle for change. It is your weapon X. Your identity is no longer a secret. You have made your debut and the fact, the fate of the world rests within your mind's view and the answer is the one word that will forever be true when you ask the world, who was the best superhero? You. Thank you.